That would actually be really helpful. Is that all right? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Good. Lo yeah, lovely. Lo lovely to meet you. Lovely to you meet too. you. So we'll go straight. We'll, we'll go straight into it then. We've got some wicked questions for you, and Amazing. I'm really looking forward to get to know your personality as well. Super. So, question number one: What is the best adventure you have ever been on in your life? so far right okay so that is a good question um okay so I, I actually lived in Italy for a year um and I moved over there and I didn't speak any other language and I didn't know anyone over there um so that was a pretty big <laughs> um leap for me because it was right after I finished uni um and I just kind of wanted to see what was out there. So I went, I got on a plane and ended up doing an internship there for a year um, in a theatre, which was, yeah, it was the best year of my life, for sure. Um, How old were you when you went there? Uh, 21, I think, I guess. 20, 21? Yeah. What, when you just got on that plane? No, when you got on the plane, what are like three main emotions that you got when you were kind of stepping on that that journey alone you know I was just I was really excited um it was just such a good time for me to do it I think because at the end of uni like I just felt like for those three years I just been like kind of not in a rut but you know like I always knew what was coming and um it was just every day going to uni and then going to Asda and then <laughs> going home going out <laughs> Um, so yeah, I was definitely really excited to see what was out there. Um, yeah. obviously I was a little bit nervous because, um, I, yeah, I didn't speak any Italian, so I don't really know what I was thinking at the time. Um, but I had my Google Translate app all ready to go. Wicked. Um, <laughs> literally. <laughs> and like the first, like when I arrived and I went to the supermarket to get some food I just had it took me like two hours to get what I needed in the supermarket because oh, like, wow. all the packaging was different for everything and I was like holding the translate app up to like every single product I must have looked yeah. like such a plonker literally. well at least you had that but, imagine yeah. if you didn't have that that was that was no lovely, I know definitely Amazing. definitely I would have only been able to buy stuff with see-through packages I think so I would know what it was wicked yeah so um, doing that yeah. trip do you think that it kind of like gave you something like to kind of go and follow your dreams more and, and, and be more of who you are as a person? Do you think it really ignited the fire in you? Yeah, I think that's exactly what happened, actually. So like um, beforehand, you know, the, the most kind of out there thing I'd done was just moving away to uni. Um, but even then, you know, it was only three hours away and there was like a pretty easy train ride to get back home. Um, and also, like, I felt like I hadn't really spent any time on my own, like, up until then. Like, I just, I'd been in, like, long-term relationships um, pretty much all the time I'd been an adult um, and I was just surrounded by someone else. So, like, not to be that guy but I did kind of find myself a little bit wicked um, and just yeah just like learn about how I dealt with new situations because I, I didn't even know um uh, how how I kind of would react to certain situations so it's good to know that about myself and I've definitely yeah, improved definitely. on a couple of things I think <laughs> and since I was 21 yeah wicked wicked I love it brilliant okay question number two what does confidence mean to you? Okay, so confidence to me is, I would say, to sum up, would be to be able to do what you wanted to do without your own opinion of yourself or anyone else's opinion of you holding you back from doing that. Because so many times it's other people's view on you that holds you back, but also a lot of the time it's your own view on yourself. So, yeah. you know, you have to stop thinking about what other people think, but a lot of the time it's a lot harder to <laughs> stop the negative thoughts about yourself than actually about other people. Yeah, so, it is. Yeah. It is. Definitely. It's, um, do you, do you have a battle with your confidence or are you quite, quite, um, 
easily sh if something goes wrong are you easily to kind of brush it off and, and keep moving forward I think I mean I think going back to the to the year abroad I think before then it was definitely a different story um I think it was a lot it's it sometimes can be a lot easier to be affected by things if you're in a a safe environment um, and you can kind of allow yourself the it's almost like a luxury sometimes to be able to be like affected by things um, but as soon as I was kind of on my own I realized oh I have to actually deal with some things <laughs> a little enough. bit more yeah um, so but yeah like I feel now a lot more confident and but like obviously so I also have um, a disability and that um, for probably like a good three years after having it I was I was way less confident than I used to be um I used to because it's 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 quite funny because my username now is chick with a walking stick but for like a good three years in every photo taken of me I would have the camera person holding my stick I'd be like oh hold my stick I don't want it in oh, the so picture you were trying to hide it you were trying to hide yeah. it rather than being who definitely showing the video are you are you really happy that you kind of just thought no this is i've got to take the risk and just show the world the real version of yeah. who i am are you yeah, glad definitely. you did that oh, i'm so glad so glad i mean because like i didn't even realize before the, the kind of negative effects it was having on me by mm. trying to hide it exactly because, yeah. yeah literally because i i would go you know back to my hometown or whatever and everyone who would see me would be like oh what what what's that about and then I'd have to explain it over and yeah. over again like every day mm. and so I was actually just making life a lot harder for myself when I was trying I to make it easier yeah. yeah yeah fair enough I love, I love the t-shirt you wear and I love I love how you present yourself on social media I think you do it oh, really thanks. well yeah thanks. You do I appreciate really well. that a lot so don't stop doing it honestly oh bless don't you thank it. you it, yeah it took me people... a few years to get to that point definitely yeah well, you, yeah. you're there and you're inspiring, so keep going. Thank Wicked. you, gorgeous. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> that's what it's about, sharing love. love so it. question number three, who is your best friend and why? Okay, so I have to say my best friend. I'm one of those lucky people where I can say it's my partner. Um, Aww. Yeah, Leo, I know, but um, he has actually like been there through a lot of stuff kind of he because and like what what I really love about him is that he met me after I started having like mobility issues so it was never like a question of like oh does he still like me now that things are a little yeah, bit different with me that. you know yeah definitely so I can like always be confident and he's always just like accepted that as a part Aww. of me yeah, because oh, like lovely. some other guys haven't. So that was really that was. Them really other nice. guys missed yeah. out, eh? They missed I out. Know. Bye. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Your um, hair's a lot. Is, is your hair naturally blonde, or are you? What, it's highlighted. Name? So yeah, I'm I'm kind of like a medium to light blonde, and then I just highlight yeah. it to make it yeah, pop it looks, a little bit. Looks great. Looks nice. great. I love it. Yeah, you have great hair too. Well, I, I like to be blonde too, but then yeah. I, I always go brown and then blonde and blonde and then brown. So, mm. but blonde is Heck yeah. <laughs> they do have fun. <laughs> you get a few beeps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's because it's just easier to see because the light is reflecting from you. That's all. I know. <laughs> okay, next question. How do you see yourself when you look in the mirror? Okay. So yeah, that's that's a really good question. I'm really glad you asked that because um, I feel like literally in the last like two months, that's my answers changed from what it would be before. Um, okay. I think like a lot of you know, I'm sure like ninety percent of um, young women like have a list of things that they want to change about themselves every time they look in the mirror and like what I think what a lot of people don't realize is that that happens to kind of anyone like yeah it doesn't actually matter what you look like the problem is always like internal and literally anyone could be insecure um so now I feel like after 
because what, what something that I didn't expect to happen that was a really positive thing that's come from um kind of the Instagram community is that there's just so much like self-love and like body positivity and yeah. um that kind of thing so whereas like I kind of started Shape for the Walking Stick to be like um just connect with other people with like similar situations to me mm. um it's actually just made such an impact on me seeing all these like other women who are just like so confident and accepting who they are um so yeah I think it definitely now when I look in the mirror I see like the the version of myself that I am more than someone that I would like to mold to be like someone else yeah lovely so that's, that's a good thing Oh, yeah. I love it. It's a beautiful answer. <laughs> it is. It's lovely. A lot of people do would struggle to answer that question as well. So just having yeah. the courage and the confidence to answer it, take it's fantastic. Lovely. Exactly. Wicked. Okay, the next question. What are three main goals you want to achieve in the next two years? Okay. So um I'm definitely one of those people where two years like doesn't seem like it even kind of exists you know mm -hmm. like I definitely yeah, okay. more plan for like the next day yeah. if anything yeah. um but um definitely one thing that I've really wanted to do pretty much since I came back to the UK is to um have another experience like the one um where I worked in Italy for a year um so not like not necessarily Italy but just like another um, experience where I kind of just jump into something um, yeah. maybe not really knowing what I'm getting into because yeah those are the funnest ones I feel um, wicked so yeah I have, you really ever, like that. have you ever done like a catwalk show or done anything kind of on the stage like that have you, have you done anything like that yeah yeah so when I when I was a teenager when I was like um, 17 18 I was yeah. I was um, like a non-disabled model it's like a regular yeah model <laughs> um, yeah I and, got you know uh, and yeah so I used to do catwalks um for that yeah. and I have to say it's a very different environment um that like now the disabled modeling is just so much nicer <laughs> oh my gosh it's such a better experience um the people that you work with you know people just like really seeing you as a person more than like a mannequin <laughs> a little bit um yeah which is really yeah it's just great um uh not that i had a horrible time on like all my cow blocks but it was definitely um a different experience yeah um Lovely. so yeah i would love to i'd love to do one kind of now maybe with with the walking stick or just like zooming down in my power chair maybe um, swagging it yeah swag. definitely yeah. for Wicked. sure for sure yeah that would be sick. i love yeah. it yeah. brilliant cool okay so the last question from from myself is what are you most grateful for in life okay so what i'm most grateful for is something that i definitely wouldn't have thought that i would be saying um <laughs> at this point in my life but it's actually my power chair um so I have a power chair, which is just like an electric wheelchair. And it's literally changed my life so much for the better. Um, so it was like four years ago when I started having mobility issues. And for like, it took me like three and a half years to be able to, to get um, the power chair. And before right, okay. then, like, yeah before then it was kind of like a case of I'd have to maybe rely on other people a little bit um mm -hmm. a lot more than I would like to anyway um I couldn't really like do a lot of things on my own but now I've got my life back I like feel like a new woman again or like Aww. a new like old version of myself anyway um because I mean we're, we're we're pretty lucky in the UK like I mean everything could be improved obviously but like a lot of stuff is accessible in the UK so I can literally just go out shopping with my friends or just like go for a coffee Aww. just like before yeah it's just the small things that like you don't even think about um that I can now do again which is amazing <laughs> I think 
definitely I think being able to do things like that on yourself people take that for granted don't they I think yeah it's, it's great I to talk did. about it yeah. it's great to talk about it and to show that you know what I mean how much that means to you it definitely um yeah it's definitely incredible amazing Thanks. I love it wicked okay nice. next, so I'll let you I'll let you go with your little questions yes got I have this. some questions for you yes Woo! yeah it's good Let's as go, it is Okay, so I would like to know what is one of your proudest moments that you've had? I think I've had quite a few proud moments. Um, but one really proud moment that I've had within the last year was actually seeing one of my clients speak on stage. Mm -hmm. Because when he first came to me, he suffered with really low confidence. Mm -hmm. And then to see him speak on stage in front of sort of three to four hundred people and to be sitting there wow, filming yeah. him and clapping for him uh, that that felt pretty proud so I think that in the last year that was something that I was really special to me and that yeah I, uh, yeah it definitely mo motivated me to to just keep going and helping more people so yeah that was a proud moment of seeing seeing one of my clients on stage and yeah that's amazing i mean for, yeah. for anyone talking in front of three or four hundred people on stage would be like really intense like let alone someone who started off with like and China, the beauty so. the beauty of what i've just said is the person that i'm on about has just tuned in to this live oh, <laughs> he's literally just tuned in now <laughs> well congratulations this bless person you. on your speech that yeah, bless him. that's great and it's so nice when you can be proud of something that's helped someone else as well it just makes yeah, it even better yeah yeah definitely oh amazing right. did. another question for you i have um what advice would you give to yourself 10 years ago i think the main the main advice that i'd give to myself 10 years ago and i always i always say this really with the means of giving this advice to somebody else at my age 10 years ago um and that's just to not get involved in the wrong crowd and just don't get addicted to doing things that harm your soul like smoking and drinking and drugs and stuff that is very easy accessible in in our world i think yeah. when you're young you think it's fun or okay to try things and unfortunately, it, it actually can ruin your, your journey in life. So the main, the main advice I'd give myself is just to, to, to not have tried certain things at that kind of age when I wasn't aware of what they meant or what it could physically do to my mind, body and soul. So, yeah, that, that, right. that, that was it. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people have similar experiences, definitely, with stuff like that. Mm. Do you think um kind of more education for young people would be the way to help with that or um yeah i think school education i don't definitely don't think there was a time when you'd walk into a class and they yeah would talk i about didn't it. hear anything about it yeah absolutely not absolutely not yeah i do think more education as well and um people even on a pack of cigarettes it has a person like literally dead on a bed it, it really it really says it, it what it, it what it says on the bottle it's just a strange old thing that human beings decide to uh, if a pizza said it had if a pizza said it had cubes on it would you eat it no you wouldn't so why would you pick up a pack of bags if it says it kills you it just doesn't oh make gosh. sense yeah you know what that. I mean, though? yeah that's that's fair that is a fair point <laughs> Yeah, that's what I mean. I have some so. imagery in my head now, but. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but no, that was definitely good advice, definitely for a lot of people. I, think. <laughs> oh, I, always, so. think, I always think, though, just quickly, I always think if you're going to give someone advice, if you can be really serious, then you can also make a bit of a joke out of it. They're more likely to take the advice on yeah because then they can it kind of taps into their soul a little bit easier yeah definitely and they definitely would remember yeah. it a lot more if exactly. you use that analogy every time so exactly. might pop into their head every time they want a cigarette <laughs> <laughs> that picture yeah. <laughs> that would definitely help yeah <laughs> okay um now what 
in life is still a mystery to you? Well, I think it's probably the universe. Um, we live on a planet floating in the universe and obviously the universe is huge. So the biggest mystery to me is what is, what is there? What is, what is around us? And how was the universe made? Like, how, how did the universe get there? I'm, I'm not that bothered about how our planet was made. I care more about, and I care more about the actual universe in a whole. Hmm. Like, how did the universe start this massive load of air and, and space? It, it's absolutely mind blowing. So for me, that's the biggest question is how did the universe start? And then everything else in the universe, you know what I mean? Mm. It's all is all is all in it. But what what what's the actual? Where is this? You know, where are we? <laughs> where are we? Where are we? Where are we? That's the biggest thing yeah, for me. Yeah, definitely. And that's that, that. Even though I know we're on a planet floating in the universe, I don't think that mystery of what you've questioned me for, I will ever find the answers to. I don't think humanity can or have found the answers out of, we've been on this planet for 400 billion years and we still don't know that answer so yeah if, if if i when i die i wish someone could come and wake me up if they find out that answer <laughs> that good, <laughs> come and tap on and i'm like what do you say <laughs> so yeah there yeah you go. wow that is yeah that's a big one for sure um yeah it's it is so weird that thing of just like it's such a simple thing whereas like you think the universe you know it can't go on forever everything out there that's not possible but at the same time it's also impossible that it just stops exactly and then exactly once that. you realize that it's like okay like are yeah, we, are we in like some kind of like box and then there's other people looking in and going ha 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 Maybe. <laughs> you, know. you just don't know do you think they're like judging us? Yeah, like, yeah. like mental, absolutely mental. Yeah. Mental. We'll never but, know. Um, that's why it's so important to be inspirational, though. While we're on this planet, just live and breathe inspiration and you, you can't go far from wrong. That's nice. I love that. That's beautiful. Awesome. Um, cool. Now, I was wondering, what was the first job that you had? The first job that I had was it lasted a week because <laughs> when I when it literally did when I left school I was in the wrong crowd so I don't know how I got a job with no GCSEs but I actually fell straight into a job and that was working in hairdressing oh, but nice. what it was is I get eczema on my hands and being in hairdressing, washing people's hair, after a week, my eczema just got really bad, like even worse. Yeah, but, yeah. And then I realised that I wouldn't, wasn't able to be a hairdresser <laughs> because of the way my hands were. And even though they kept giving me gloves, it kept getting like, hot and sticky and it mm. just wasn't right. So um, that was my first job at hairdressing. Oh, bless you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can see why that wouldn't have worked out for sure. Didn't work out, though. No. Didn't work out. Okay. Um, what is, and this is coming up to dinner time, so this might be because I'm hungry, but what is your first post-COVID meal? Where are you going to go when the lockdowns uh, let us go to restaurants again? Well, there is a noodle bar near my house that is really, really good. And I'm just surprised because a lot of places are actually on delivery now, like Nando's is on there. They opened up the other day, so I ordered it like oh, Nando's amazing. quite quickly. Yeah, it's open. Right. Um, but I think for me, it's um, probably the noodle bar up the road mm -hmm. because they do really good. Um, you can have like noodles and then you pick like a, a, a meat or a chicken or, or a fish or whatever you want to put in it. And then you put all your vegetables and your sauce, but it's it's kind of like a pick and mix. I quite enjoy it. That's and like literally my favourite. Yeah. They let they let my dog come in, and my dog gets a seat on next to me on the chair, and they always make my dog my dog a little pot of chicken no. with a, a little thing of water for my dog. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's amazing. They do. They do. Top customer so that, service. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. It's, only, it's only like um, a family-run business. That's probably why they allow oh, it. But right, it's, yeah, yeah. it's good. 
Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I love noodles. There was this noodle bar at uni and I would sometimes go like two times a day, like for lunch and then for dinner. I'd get the pick and mix noodles. Yeah, for sure. I'm have, jealous. Have you tried, sorry, sorry, have you tried udon noodles? I don't know if I have. I, I usually get the sober ones. You've got oh, to try yeah. the udon. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna send you I'll some of the posts. <laughs> give them a go. Okay, well there we go. That would be my first post lockdown one for sure. I'm jealous that um you have access to Nando's though, because I'm in Norfolk, so I'm in like the countryside. Yeah. And there is no chance of me getting Nando's out here. Oh, right. Absolutely no chance. So yeah, oh, I'm definitely excited for that. Wow. Okay. So flip my paper. I'm okay. Sorry. Now okay if you had to change your name if you had to what would you change your name to do i have to answer this question <laughs> yes the thing is celestia means heavenly oh. and i just love the name like the name celestia like it, that's so nice it, yeah and then on my, my surname's barbie so to change it is kind of like if i had to like if I had to change my name, well, I call myself a VIP, you see, and that means very inspirational person. Ooh, so I, I, like don't, I don't think I would, I don't think I'd change it to that. I do like Versace, so I could call my name, but I could be called Versace. Yes, <laughs> yes, definitely. I could be called Versace. <laughs> That's amazing. I wasn't laughing, sorry. No, I love it. It's easy. It works. Let's yeah. go with Versace. Yeah, let's go with it. Versace. <laughs> so is Barbie, your, is that's your real name? Yeah, Barbie is, yeah, it's my surname. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah. That's very cool. A bit different. Wow. Yeah, for sure. I bet that probably confuses some people when you're trying to, like, fill out a form or something. And they're like, okay. Yeah, let's well, see. it's... Um, my brother, obviously, at school probably used to deal with it in different ways than a oh, woman Oh, that does. must be so different if you're a guy, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, but no, it's all good. It's great. It's fantastic for branding and, and it's good. I'm glad no, I've got some cracking. surname. Yeah, no, it's what's, awesome. what's your surname? So it's Thankster. Um, it's just what's, like that. The... Yeah, it's like an old Scottish name. Um, yeah. And it comes from people who used to like sing in church choirs in Scotland and they'd be like nice. songsters. So I was like sangster. So, Lovely. Yeah. I have sung in a couple of church choirs in my time. So <laughs> carry on the name. Yeah. <laughs> I bet that was fun. I'd you love know. to speak in a church. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was when I was kind of uh, a lot younger. <laughs> Definitely a lot younger. Maybe I should go back to it. Are you, um, have you ever sung online? No, I haven't. My, um, my degree, my undergrad degree was in musical theatre though. So Amazing. I've, yeah, I've definitely had a lot of stage, stagey kind of experience like that. So yeah, no, that sounds cool. Have you sung online? Is that a thing that you do? The sun is shining. <laughs> no, I'm not a singer. I'm okay. not a singer. Um, but I, I kind of, when you, when you are an inspirational speaker, you can do a little sing here and a little sing there. And you kind of yeah. make it fun. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You make mm -hmm. it fun. And, um, yeah, it, it, I like singing in the shower. And nice. I love singing in the shower. Uh -huh. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. It's fun, isn't it? I love it. It's the best. Definitely. I have to make sure I close my windows when I do that so the neighbours don't get too oh, really? annoyed yeah <laughs> definitely i kind of want them to hear in a way <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah just to set in your position on the street i'm here and definitely. i'm singing yeah definitely nice are they all the questions or has we got any more that is all my questions my love that is all of them i yeah. love it so you live in the countryside is that where you've been brought up is it yeah so um i i was born in london but i only yeah. lived in london till i was um i think about eight um and from then on been in the countryside so country Amazing. girl i i'm a country yeah. girl as well i've been brought up in the countryside on a yeah. farm um and then oh, yeah my mom still my mom still lives there but i can i can go over there and sort of visit any day really i yeah. think when you have got that countryside element to you 
you can really think about life and think more about what you want and how you're going to kind of use your time wisely really yeah that's definitely true well yeah. one question i wanted to ask you what's your partner's surname because obviously when you get married that's going to be your new surname so it's a pretty funny one i'm not gonna lie his name is Robottom. so r-o wow bottom <laughs> yeah Robottom. <laughs> so We'll, uh, we'll maybe have a conversation about that. Yeah, later on, later on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh you're a beautiful soul. Oh, you All too, right, man. then. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to it's you. It's been lovely. You're Thank an amazing you. person. Thanks, babe. And um, like I say, if you ever need me for anything, just drop me a message. I'm always here if you ever want to talk or share anything. Or if, you, if you've ever got an event that you're at and you want me to promote you, just holler and I'll drop it in my story. Bless you. You're such an angel. Right. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. So love, nice to meet you. You too. And remember, love, love and unique connections make the world go around. So never forget that. Right. That's beautiful. All right, much okay. love. So much love. Thank Bye. you, darling.